so. If, uh, increase the power of our weapons, increase the amount of uh, armor we're wearing. Let's see what else is going on in this city. Ooh, you look interesting. Can I interest you in anything? Possibly. Ah! You sell hand-to-hand -hand combat weapons. That's not useful for us for the moment, but... I imagine they will... become a key item. Wait, is this where I just was? Yes, I was. <laughs> I guess that technically works out. Hello. Ah, hold on, my computer's acting up. Oh. How big is this kingdom anyway? Kingdom? <laughs> We're a corporate city-state with a profit by the workers for the workers. Well, that's what President Dugan says. Hmm. Hopefully you're right, but um, considering what we've heard from Dugan, yeah, that's um, uh, not quite close to accuracy. What you got there? Yeah, it's a computer I use to keep track of my work, but it's on the fritz. Let me see what I can do. Ah, you need the new OS upgrade. Crap. Thanks, though. Well, let me repay you for your help. Nice. Where can we find Bowman? You'll find him in the cathedral. No, 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 I'd stay away from him. He's trouble. Oh? Where can we find Bowman? You'll find him in the cathedral. No, 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 I'd stay away from him. He's trouble. Interesting. So we have one person who's all for Bowman, one person who says Bowman's trouble. Hello. Welcome to Wind City's Capitol building. Can I help you? Yeah. Um. Who's in charge here? Our newly elected president, Dugan. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. I guess not. <laughs> we're we're uh, new in the area. Welcome to Wind City's Capitol building. Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> What kind of communication lines are all over the city? State-of-the-art data transfer lines. They avoid the unreliability of airwave communication. Unreliability? Energy from the core makes it hard to send transmissions further than a few miles. That makes sense. How can I contact the Holy Guard? We no longer have any official ties to that branch. Well. Wow. Seems like Maya's uh, come up with her greatest uh, uh, opposition, bureaucracy. Anything around here? That looks pretty. There's an iron collar bolting it to the table. Okay. The Curse of Drac. Long ago, legend tells of the ancient necromancer Drax, lustful of the immortality of the Seraphim, he fervently studied the arts of the undead. It is Drax's curse that even today darkens the graveyards and pollutes the land. Even the ancient catacombs of Wind City, which once stretched from Morn Graveyard all the way to the Cathedral of the Seven Winds itself, were sealed to hold back the forces of the dead. Press escape to get exit. Good to know. Alchemy and modern times. Alchemy and chemicals. Many natural elements can be used for, for the benefit of mankind. The Chosen have taken away uh, this way of life to the extreme with bioengineered ships and armor. Far superior to that of the lower shells. But as strange as they may seem to us, even stranger are the tales surrounding the blood of the undead. Long rumored to be deadly to the living, some have recently found it, uh, this uses for this foul chemical, using its strong corrosive properties as an acid. I guess that makes sense. Uh, 
let's see. Favorite ghost stories. Ghost fables. In the outback of Shell 2, there is said to be a strange old farm with disturb a disturbing past. A family once lived there, enjoying the prosperity of the land, until one day a horrible accident shattered their lives. The family was sitting down to supper when the children chased each other into the yard. The children's games got out of hand and the youngest boy accidentally fell down the well, and he could not be saved. The family, no longer feeling comfortable in their home, left for the city. They say the crops still grow at the farm and that the ghost of the boy still awaits the return of his family and the call to supper. Yep. Okay, I mean, I guess that is a ghost story. It's just, you know, not particularly scary. The origins of Helgak. Helgak are the dormant animals or dominant animal species of our world. Generally, any floating creature with a calcite or bony exoskeleton is considered to be of the Helgak family. Most scholars believe these animals were put here by the creator to perform tasks for men, but recent theories speculate the Helgak are mutations from a period before even Marduk's age, when men could not distinguish between technology and science. Recent proofs of these augments lie in or similar genetic information between the common wolves and thunder lions, and even between humans and underlost. Many, however, still consider the biology of the Helgak to be quite beyond the means of our creation. Their mysterious purpose seems to be too deliberate for our frail minds. Interesting. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Not a very talkative fellow. Well, it is a library. Let's see. Ancient Manuscripts and Texts, Volume X1. Marduk the Lawgiver, son of the Creator and the Celestial Giver of the Law, Marduk is the primary demigod of Septeran, the Septeran world, sometime in the ancient past, usually dated as two, four, or 2145 CR, Marduk was commanded by the Creator to enter into the material worlds of men. Tasked with retrieving the core keys and recruit, rescuing the angel Kira from the demon, or the demon Gemma, Marduk set upon his task and changed history forever, raising an army of men from every world shell. The army of the Seven Winds, Marduk discovered the location of Gemma's hidden fortress, oh, sorry, fortress, and began his assault. It was here that he, er, that he battled the, er, yeah, he battled the massive core creature demon that guarded Gemma's fortress, and then he did battle with Gemma for a hundred days. With triumph, Marduk destroyed the Blasphemer and smote his temple, rescuing Kyra and the artifacts for all mankind. To this day, the god of Wind City carry on Marduk's demon force technique, wielding a mastery over the use of dimensional gates. Press escape to exit. Interesting. Elementals and demigods, 20 or 19. Here, the, or Ouroboros, near the core of the world, there is a cave, a temple to the three-headed serpent of fire, Ouroboros. Um, that, that's not what an Ouroboros is. An Ouroboros is a, a serpent that's constantly consuming its own tail. Y you guys know this, right? I mean, that, that's not was made in freaking Seattle, whatever. Ouroboros is as old as the world and his body longed to encircle all of Septera. Through the fury he feels at his lack of unity, Ouroboros generates light and heat to warm and fuel Septera. Some legends have said that the world will end when the three-headed agree on any one thing. Finally, Ouroboros' fire bakes the element of Earth. Hmm, interesting. So... He is a creature of chaos, and yet, uh, if he becomes a creature of aura, order, then hey, how's it going? Not that would be it. Fellow. Oh, you're in a different color. What Hello. is this place? This is the library of Wind City. What would you like to know? Oh, wow. 
No, we've got plenty of stuff to talk about. <laughs> this place is even bigger than Aziz's temple. Aziz, hmm. I once knew a man named Aziz. Bright fellow. Hmm. Oh, he did say he was from a different shell. It might be from here. Do you have any books on robotics? Uh, robo what? Oh, come on. How delightful. A clockwork dog. Actually, he's not a dog. He's a robot. Uh, what? Mm, never mind. Well, let's ask about the world. Do you know how the Great Spine works? Yes, I've studied it well. The spine connects all the world shells like a giant rod from the north to the south pole. It gathers the energy created by the rotation of the continents, which act like giant turbines. Now, this energy is used to power the core and is the source of the energy that we all use to cast spells and power our machinery. Mm, that's good. Tell me the story of the fates. During the infancy of our world, the creator fashioned two relics of power that could be used to communicate with the core and receive its power. Many men fought over these keys, but only one succeeded in snaring them away from God. The demon Geba, who also kidnapped Kira, the angel of light, to be his bride. When his host of angels failed to defeat the demon, the creator sent Marduk, his only begotten son, to defeat the forces of darkness and left the affairs of men forever. Marduk searched for Gemma's secret fortress, assembling an army of warriors from every world shell, the army of the seven winds. But an army cannot fight what they cannot find. When all hope appeared lost, Dogo, a trickster demon, convinced Gemma that he should allow Kira to have at least one item of comfort, a mirror. She could use it, he argued, to make herself beautiful for her new lord. Gemma, ever greedy and lustful, agreed. Dogo created her mirror from the very stuff of the core and gave it to the captured angel. She used it to reflect her light into the heavens, creating the stars. Marduk, seeing this sign, followed the brightest to Gemma's hidden lair. After a battle that raged for a hundred days, the Son of God smote Gemma. Marduk sent the demon's soul to the secret places of the earth. His blood became rivers, and his eyes the darkness of death. Gemma's body was thrown into the hellish pits of Janak, there to burn for all eternity. Afterwards, Marduk captured Gemma's demon spawn and imprisoned them within other dimensions to be called on by his followers alone. Then he created the temple city of Babylon and ruled with Kira for many years, hiding the keys until mankind would need the gift that lies in the core. Ah, the kingdom of heaven. Yes, Marduk taught us that its power would one day save the world. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we might as well finish up talking with you and then uh, call it a vid. What's up with the monks? Yeah. They have taken a vow of silence in protest to the proposed dissolution of the Holy Guard. The monks have proposed a system by which the city would be run by both the Guard and the Presidency, with the library as a third branch to keep power balanced. But the people do not listen. Hmm. Interesting. Do you know of Marduk? Wind City was founded by his followers. His followers? Yes, for Marduk raised the seven winds of Septera, seven armies, one of each world shell, and led them against Gemma and his dark legions. Marduk slew the Dark One and captured his demon minions to be called only by Marduk's followers. Our holy guard of the seven winds carry on Marduk's teachings. Interesting. Well, let's see what he knows about the Holy Guard. Do you know a man named Bowman? A great yet troubled man. Why? 
President Dugan wants to dissolve the Holy Guard, the protectors of Wind City, and rule without the checks and balances that the Guard provides. Bowman, who leads the Guard, must decide if he should force the people into the light of truth or give in and watch as they are led down a dark path of lies. Good to know. Anyway, that's uh, it for you. And uh, when we come back, I guess we'll check out more of the Windy City. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good one.